Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to explain you how to make this auto smelter with three large furnaces and drop loot box. I'm going to show you how to how this works. For example, you put in your ore and your wood. For example, you turn it off and then they go automatically on. There you go. As you can see, they are now automatically on. When everything is burnt, they will go automatically off. There you go. Now, let's see how to build this. To start this, this automatically furnace setup, you need a few items. A splitter, a timer, a igniter, a storage adapter, and an industrial conveyor. And of course, a wire tool and a pipe tool power source, a large furnace and a box or a small box. So we start this build with actually laying the pipes. To start laying the pipes we need to use the storage adapters and place them on top of our chests and large furnaces. There we go. Now after that we place the storage adapter and you can place this where everywhere you want. I will. Ch I, I prefer choosing not outside and in your base because that is much safer. So I just place it here on the ground before my chest, and then I'm going to connect this storage industrial out to this industrial input of the industrial conveyor. Now you can connect your industrial output with your first furnace like this then for the next furnace you can use your industrial out and you can daisy chain them all together like this now this output the last output of your furnaces are going to the industrial in of your storage adapter like this. Now you have completed the setup, but you need to run the power and ignite the furnaces. To do that we use a timer and we use a splitter. You can place the timer on a wall in your base and the splitter just outside of it. Now you're going to power everything. First you start with the industrial conveyor. I use this as out, uh, my test generator as output, but you can use a large battery or a small battery or a medium battery. As long as you have, you first connect the electrical input. So this timer is now active and it works. This timer output goes to your spur litter. Now, for the splitter, we come back later for that. But first, we are going to connect the industrial conveyor. Use the power out of the generator or your battery to the power in of your conveyor. Be aware, use the power in and not the turn on or turn off, because that is not the right one. Power input, and as you can see, it starts blinking red now. Now here, you have a few options. We are going to use the filter pass. We connect the filter pass back to the timer at the toggle on. So now, if anything goes through here, it will automatically toggle on this timer and let's power through this splitter. Now, we connect this splitter to our igniters. The igniters you place exactly between the two furnaces. Like this. Now you can connect each splitter of each igniter to the splitter. That's one. And that's two. 
you can test if they work to activate this and as you can see you get little sparkles on the igniters but as you can see if the timer runs out of time they turn off automatically now we need to set the right settings on the industrial conveyor so you go with e to change item filters and you are going to put each ore in what you want to burn like that now here are three three different tri things we only use the max so as max we, s we are going to put 20 so each furnace is ma maximum filled with 20 sulfur metal or high qual now we are also going to add wood we set a maximum of 30 for that and we also need to get the output right so we need to put the charcoal out of the furnace and of course each ore now you can do apply and now this is set now we are going to test this you are going to get your sulfur ore or your metal ore or your high column ore and you're going to put them in this box now you also need wood so you put also the wood in this box and after that you can turn it on and if you have done everything right it's going to fill up each furnace and it turns on the furnaces and there you go this is the most simple setup for your automatic large furnaces if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i see you in the next video if you want to see more uh, please leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye